Hey everyone, so this is just going to be an overview of the full wave of the Demo Goblin wave. Uh, I'm going to include the build a figure this time uh, as like part of the wave because it is. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll go ahead and start with my probably my least favorite. My least favorite is between probably the White Rabbit. I just don't know enough about her. It's just kind of, it's a funny looking figure to me. It's still cool that we get, you know, another villain to add to the shelf. But overall from being like excited uh, to open up. Uh, she's probably one of my least. I was kind of like, eh, on. And then probably these two are kind of tied in a way. <laughs> Both these Spider-Verse or Game Reverse Spider-Man. They're, they're cool looking. I'm not going to lie. They're very cool. I do like the different suits. But I wasn't as just excited for these ones particularly. But um, they're very cool looking Spider-Man. They look good with the other suits. Um, again, my son has both of these and he absolutely loves them. He definitely plays with these uh, every day. <laughs> but very cool looking Spider-Man, but still just not at the top top. And then probably my, um, let's see, where are we at? So six, seven, eight, or no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, the next would probably be, um, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot his name. Uh, Shang-Chi. Uh, he's very cool. Um, again, I always say that a lot. I do like the different hands that he comes with. Um, his pose ability is really cool, and he's just—he's a fun figure. But I just don't know enough about him to get the, that excitement and that attachment to him. So that's kind of where I—he's kind of towards the middle, just because it's a new character. Even though White Rabbit is a new character, also that we've gotten in Marvel Legends, um, he, I just think he looks really cool. I kind of like the whole—I remember as a kid loving the Kung Fu movies, and he definitely just reminds me of that. And then third is um, definitely superior octopus i think again a very neat looking suit a great another addition to the uh, spider-man shelf i do wish these were posable i am but i am bummed that these are not bendy wires just for the sure fact for them to be stuck this way um, it's a little disappointing because you know you just don't have that posability with him and also you know you can't have those crazy cool you know grasping or wrapping or coiling around somebody uh, even though it probably wouldn't hold the weight, it would just be fun on the ground, you know, having them coil around. I don't know. The posability is very limited due to those uh, tentacles not being able to move around besides the side to side and the little tips here, the claws to rotate, which kind of defeats the purpose if the whole thing doesn't move. Because what, I don't see the point of making these. But overall, I like the figure alone. Uh, the figure itself, I think, is a great looking Spider-Man figure. Um, I like the paint job. It's just, it's a, it's a neat one that I wasn't really expecting to see. And then second is definitely a Demo Goblin. I really like this build a figure now. The more, I ha more I've had you know, a chance to really look them over and mess around with them, I think it's a, a really nice looking figure now. I definitely really like these newer uh, flight stands. I think this is just really cool. And even though he does get a little top heavy, um, it's, just, it's just a cool looking, I'm excited to try this out with the Green Goblin. I'm hoping they continue uh, using these kind of stands with the glider figures or any other figures that have like smaller, uh, you know, air vehicles. And then my favorite figure of the way, I'm sure you guys already knew, was is the Vulture. Um, I just, I really like how this guy turned out. I even know the wings are lacking detail. Um, just my fearsome foes, Toy Biz Vulture is just so tired and he's kind of, he was expensive. I think he's come down price now. Um, but he was just expensive when I bought him, so I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get another one. Uh, and they're just hard to find in decent shape, especially with, you know, loose out and about out of the package. Uh, just the joints are kind of, you know, they're just older, so they're wearing out. Um, but overall, I really like this figure. Uh, I'm excited to have kind of more of the classic looking Vulture. I have been using the Ultimate Vulture on my display, so I'm happy to replace him with this one. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That's going to wrap up my quick overview. I know it's kind of a sloppy one this time around. I mean, it's kind of, it's an interesting batch of figures just because there's a lot that I don't know. Uh, so I was basically just reviewing overall aesthetics and how the figure is itself more so than on the character. Um, but still cool wave. I definitely like the demo goblin build a figure more so than I thought I was going to. But in the comments, let me know. I know sometimes you guys don't like to say it, but let me know what your top, you know, Give me your, your list. Who do you like the most out of this wave? Um, I'm just curious. I always enjoy hearing people's comments and uh, seeing what you guys have to say. Okay, guys. Hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.